Hey folks, how's everybody? Hi. Well, we're about to go to uh, the Hemp <laughs> RV show. We're about to leave and Jessica spotted that we have what? Something really shiny on our tire. Yeah, so we got a nail in our tire, just like everybody always gets it on travel day. So come I'm on, let's take a look. Yeah. So I already started pulling out a little bit, but this is it. This guy. Oh. Yep. Here you go. Take it away, Jess. Really exciting stuff. So, of course, we're trying to get to the RV Tampa show because, well, it's the place to be, right? And we had plans to be. We even had an appointment like three. Um, we already had. Great. Where's my hole? <laughs> I'm trying to like plug the hole with my finger. Doesn't exactly work. Um, we already like discovered that our um, water was dead, so we needed to change that out. So we did. We got all that taken care of. Slide put away. Everything all done, and then bam! Mm -hmm. I see the shininess on our tires. So we're gonna work a plug. We're gonna let the plug rest for a while because you don't want to be pulling a fresh plug and your RV at the same time. We should actually get it patched, but hey, you know what? We're doing a plug. Have a good day. Yeah, so that's the plan, and then that's gonna delay us it's getting to the um, show until tomorrow at some point, I guess. Um, and Robert has somewhere to be tonight, too. So this is really exciting. Puts a big um, dent, not in a good way, in our in our day. Um, we're disappointed. Had a bunch of uh, things set up, have another meetup set up for today for people that are going to be there and it's not happening. So yeah, I see there's four people on. If you want to say, hey, let us know where you're joining from. And yeah, yeah, um, I guess I can take you guys inside too to give you a little bit of a tour. All right, we will have a video up of the water pump change. Hello, Penelope, joining from Rhode Island. Welcome. So I'll take you inside and you can see what the RV looks like on travel day. We had everything all set up. What? You can wash your hands. I'll turn on the water pump. Everyone's a little bit disappointed and upset because obviously this is not how we intended our day to go. Come on, water pump's on. So we're not even connected anymore to um, water or sewer we are connected to shore power because it is like five billion degrees out because um you know we're in florida and florida doesn't actually have a summer i mean a winter so anyway so i'm inside the rv right now our slide is in as you can see so it's all nice and cramped in here hey, say hey nadia nadia yeah. um we take down our tv even though we've got this um here we're kind of paranoid because we did accidentally kill one of our TVs, like our first TV. So since then we haven't been leaving our TV propped up. So we now always put it in our bedroom, and our bedroom is just like you know, we just throw everything in there, literally, um, just to make sure on travel day that nothing gets damaged. As I said, the slides in. We still haven't connected our slide motor. So we do have, you can see up there, this keeps our slide from opening while we are driving. Um, so that secures it for us. And we put that in every time we put the slide in. Okay, I'm doing a live right now, so I cannot help you with that. Give me just a few minutes and then I'll be available. Um, obviously I have a few parenting things I gotta take care of. Robert's back inside. what do you wanna say, bud? Robert? Yeah, I'm gonna say we're gonna get going here in a second. Woohoo! With the plug. With the plug. I was just gonna give him a quick tour. Okay. Too. Um. Obviously, we have to wait, wait, put our cover making. somewhere. So, um, it rides here. Of course. Um. Our oh, look what happened too while we were uh, getting ready to go. Um. It's lasted four years. The good news is that we already had a faucet available. I can't even pretend to put that back on. Um, we already had a faucet available because we were planning on changing it out anyway. 
air conditioner is running. We have it set since we have the slide in. Um, we have it set to where the all the vents are open there. Oops. So it's just coming out here in the center so we can keep our central core part, you know, cooled off while it's like 85 degrees out. I know Penelope is crazy. It's crazy. It's always something exciting. And I think we're out of propane too. So uh, yeah, when we're driving, this always goes down. Normally when you've seen videos and stuff, well, I don't know, it's a variety. Uh, sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down, but for travel days, it's definitely tucked away. Um, we don't have any locks for our fridge. Um, I was at the RV show and I did take footage yesterday. I took like, I don't know, let's go with 10 rigs I think that I toured yesterday. Um, and a lot of them actually had latches to keep everything and like really nice, good latches um, to keep these, the fridge doors sealed and shut while you're traveling. So that was really cool. Uh, we don't have those. <laughs> But ours haven't, we've never walked in and had that open. We've never, we only had once, like our cabinet, those cabinets one time open up um, and we had our dishes everywhere, but that was like once in four years. So that's not bad. Um, we make sure when our slide is in, um, the door is closed, because if we don't do that, um, then we can't actually shut it when we do need to use the restroom. Um, the kid's bunk, Daniel can still get in his room. That's his leg right there. Um, even with the slide in, normally the slide's out and he has like his ladder and stuff that's now hidden here, um, but he can still launch himself off of here and get in, especially now that he's bigger, um, and be able to get in and out of his uh, bunk okay. And Nadia, of course, just walks in normally. She doesn't really have any changes there. <coughs> um, lastly, I'm going to show you our bathroom. So on travel day, if I can switch out the screen. Can I do that? <gasps> All right, so travel day, like everything gets put away. The soap is out now because we're actually not moving, but toothbrushes and everything get put up. We normally have our fire here and um, we put that away. Um, <laughs> our trash doesn't get put away. It's not a big deal. It doesn't normally dump over, obviously our bath toilet. And then here we have our dehumidifier and our Dirty clothes always just ride in there anyway. They're always, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the dirty clothes always go there unless we're taking a shower. Then it gets pulled out. Um, the only thing I need to bring back in from the truck is actually our litter uh, because the cat rides with us on travel day in the RV, I mean in the truck. Um, so we pulled it out so she can use the litter box whenever she wants, but since she's not we're not doing that. I have to um, bring the litter box back in. She did leave, leave us a present, though. Uh, so anyway, this is like a very quick tour. You have something yeah. to say? Need what? The password to the internet. You need the password to the internet. Yeah. Simply, anyway. No, I can't. It only connects for one second. All right, I need some time. I'm almost done. Yeah. Mom, who gave what? <coughs> what? Who gave what gift? Tiki gave us a gift of a poo in the litter. Oh, uh, see, Penelope put the grippy shelf liners and put them between the plates and the bowls. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good idea. We should do that. We haven't done, obviously, that yet. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's kind of like our inside, how we shut everything down and have everything uh, set up for travel day. It looks like there's five people joining. If you want to say hey, um, let us know where you are joining us from. I'm going to be ending fairly soon. If you're just joining, we had a, a nail in the tire. We can actually go back outside and see what kind of progress Robert's making. This is our faucet where uh, this handle used to live. And of course, right when we're pulling out, um, that came off. I went to open it and it came off. We replaced our water pump today too, because that was dead. And now we get to plug our tire. So let's go check on- That is glue. That's out of the glue for it. Complications. Let's see where he is with that. Let's uh, step outside. Don't forget to say hey if you're joining and where you're joining from so we can give you a shout out. Uh, thanks, Penelope. We'll see you later. Well, we'll talk to you later via <laughs> YouTube. All right. Let's uh, see where we are. I mean, look, we had everything laid out so that we could connect the truck and trailer. If you're joining, 
say hey let us know where you're joining us from we're lucky to be staying at an RV park that is not in super super duper high demand so we can stay another night without any issues I'm gonna turn this around hey so Nadia says we're out of the glue stuff what is that it broke and broke what is that this is for putting the plug in oh <clears throat> so I got another couple old ones let's see if they break are you getting any? Where is the hole? There it is. Robert's getting at least a little bit of AC. <laughs> oh, here we go. The system breaks. If this one breaks, we're taking the wheel off and having it done. Slash, we can knock on our doors. Ah. Hi. If you're just joining us, we discovered a nail in our tire on the day that we're trying to pull out to go to the Tampa RV show. Robert is currently attempting to plug it. Let's see a measurement. Okay. And then that's going to delay our arrival. We're going to be camping out there. Um, so. Did it work? We'll see. <laughs> yeah, not how we would wanted to be spending our Wednesday afternoon. We wanted to spend our Wednesday afternoon hanging out with other RVers, looking at RVs, and reconnecting, socializing, getting video and stuff. Hi, Jerry. Welcome from Rosebud, Arkansas. Hey, DNS Adventures. Yeah, bad luck is for sure. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to run down to the AutoZone, get a fresh plug kit, and do it all over again here in a few minutes because these are a little bit old and they may be drying out. So the AutoZone is maybe like a mile away, so that way <laughs> we can do it all over again. Yikes. Okay. All right. I'm going to put some air in it with our Via air pump. Check out the Hebert's. Hebert's Travels. They're affiliates for Via Air, so check them out. Yeah. And if you're wondering what all that noise is, we're literally there by the uh, road. Tire barn, tire barn it usually fixes tires for pretty cheap. Okay, I don't know if there's, yeah, I don't know if there's any in, um, in the area. Tire barn. DNS Travel Adventures is um, recommending. Okay. All right, so he's going to be um, doing more stuff here. I know, great narration. I don't have like a script, so I and I don't know what the heck is actually happening. Um, and earlier today, I don't know if um, you guys that are joining a little bit later, if you guys or if you're just yeah, if you're just joining now, we had to do our water pump already today as well, and the the water pump for the RV, not the the water pump for the RV and also my faucet just the handle just flew right off. So we'll be replacing that as well. All these awesome how-to videos. Look at all this content and footage and awesomeness. Right? Look at that. Look at that smile. And sweat. And sweat. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it's better because we would be boondocking over there. And uh, we're already and nasty and we wouldn't be able to really shower too well. So Robert's connecting it there. He's connecting it there to the battery. And then we're going to add some air here. Still 
take a little while and the pump might have to shut off because if it overheats, you know, it's not meant for fill up the world with air. So, you know, you know, it's just meant for topping stuff off, filling it up a little bit, and if it gets hot, it shuts off. Which is a safety feature. Alrighty then, so that's um, our awesome, wonderful adventure. Hey, Lucky Doug Productions, how are you? Thank you for the well wishes there. They just put in this beautiful grass. Of course, when we're leaving, they had just put in, um, this park is doing a lot of really awesome improvements to make it. I mean, it's already great, because I mean, I don't think you can see. It's a gorgeous lake right there, and you can rent kayaks for free here, and it's just, I mean, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, and the people running it are really, really magnificent, so. Um, I mean, this is a place you can stay for a really, really long time, but, but um, travel and adventure takes us swear, but uh, uh, we're going to be delayed a few days, so hopefully we'll get going and everything will be great. Hi, do you guys want to say hi? We're on a live hi. YouTube. These are the yeah. people I was saying are really great that run the place. How are you doing? <laughs> I was just saying how great you guys are. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. See you later. <laughs> um, yeah, so they've been very uh, kind and understanding. They're just really sweet, and everything's been fabulous. Fabulous staying here. Um, so, yeah, you and uh, follow us on social media. We're going to be covering, as soon as we get there, the RV show. We already met up with some other YouTubers and RVers that you probably know on there, and um, we're planning on getting through this week and spending still a few more days uh, checking out more rigs, meeting up with folks, and uh, Friday night we're hosting a um, meet at RV, so when we all get there, and um, with Hippie in the Tech and some other folks from the Real Life Project, so if you are in the area, come on out, it'll be 7 p.m., I'll drop a pin as soon as I have this place, and um, yeah, for joining us, if you're, uh, if you didn't catch the very beginning, you might want to go back, um, if you want to see the inside of the RV when it's all packed up and ready to go, because I did kind of do a mini tour of that. So watch the replay for that. And uh, hit the notification so that way you don't ever miss a live or anything else we've got going on. And we will catch you all later. Bye. Where's the end button? I do this every time. Um, let's see. Uh, thank you guys. Is there an X? Um, there is an X right there, maybe. Goodbye. Yes, we want to stop streaming. Bye.